Bom, o seguinte, rapaziada, finalmente vou conferir aqui o início de gameplay de Red Dead Redemption na versão de PC. Beleza? Eu tava fazendo lives desse jogo na versão de emulador do Nintendo Switch, porém, mano, quando eu vi que ia lançar Red Dead Redemption, eu falei pra galera que ia trazer um início de gameplay e que preferia jogar esse jogo em formato de série. Então, se vocês apoiarem, né, esse vídeo... Eu trarei série no canal. Ou vocês comentem aí embaixo caso vocês queiram que eu continue ele em live. Certo? Mas daí vai demorar um pouquinho que vai... Vai só acontecer a série desse jogo depois que eu terminar a, as lives de Zelda Tears of the Kingdom que eu tô jogando a versão dublada. Certo? Então vamos nessa, guys. Vamos começar aqui, jogar. Normal. E vamos embora, mano. Eu entrei no jogo pra ver. O jogo tá muito otimizado. Tô jogando com ele no máximo, tá? Ah, deixa eu tirar o QR Code aí e a minha facecam pra vocês terem uma versão melhor aí da cutscene. I'm grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased at how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. Do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they lived like animals, but they're happier now. <laughs> Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns, yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently. The Johns family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, 
Money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other. And who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. Armadillo. Essa mina aí falou uma coisa interessante pro padre, hein, manos? Eu nunca tinha parado pra prestar atenção nesse diálogo dela. Bom, o jogo saindo do trem aqui, ele começa a carregar o mapa. Então, às vezes, ele dá uma subida de clock. Placa de vídeo é 100% de uso, mas aparentemente não aconteceu agora. Nossa, olha só, mano. Jogando o um jogo a 120 FPS, guys. Tranquilão, meu nobre. É que vocês não vão ver a fluidez que eu tô jogando aqui, porque o vídeo é gravado a 60 FPS, né? Mas, mano... Nossa, agora, agora o jogo vai ser divertido trocar uns tiros. Top, hein? Vamos lá. You must be John Marston. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends, but pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. Eita, já sacou o reserve, mano. Cara, faz muito tempo que eu não zero um jogo jogando no mouse e teclado, mano. Vai ser uma experiência diferente. Sistema de mira, então, ó. A trocação de tiro aqui vai ser sincera. Como é que guarda a arma? Apertar o Q, beleza. O Q é roda de arma pelo jeito, né? Vamos lá. Subir no cavalo com o E. Eu, geralmente eu gosto de subir com o F, mano. Depois eu vou trocar alguns comandos aqui. Tá, e pra correr é o... Vou apertar o Shift. Eita! Apareceu o um negócio do... Eu apertei várias vezes o Shift, mano. Vou desabilitar isso aí do Windows depois. Contra pra frear o cavalo, beleza. Eita! O John. Olha, <risos> um lado pro outro. Vou ter que me acostumar com os controles, né, guys? Fiquei mal acostumado jogando no, no controle no PC. I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but... Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. Cara, tá bem bonito, hein? Mas eu vou falar a verdade pra vocês, guys. Não tá muito diferente do... Do que eu jogava no... No emulador, não, viu? I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Steve's Landon. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> Esse 
seu otaku, se esse papo aqui é muito louco, né, velho? O que eu vi de diferente é porque o draw distance dele tá absurdo, né? Não fica dando muito, muito popping na tela de vegetação e a coisas no fundo aparecendo de repente, tá ligado? E a fluidez também tá muito maior, né? 120 FPS <risos> é outra experiência jogando o game, mano. Essa trilha sonora é muito foda, velho. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you're better off not knowing. Damn coyote. What a waste of good meat. Mr. Marston, sir. That ain't gonna get us to the port no quicker. Not far now, Mr. Marston. Bill Williamson. Listen, Mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you! <sighs> implores. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well, uh. oh, <laughs> poor kid.
Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh! I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr... Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarlane. Miss Bonnie McFarlane. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarlane. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you. For saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. Aí, desmutei o microfone, mano. Começou a passar um caminhão aqui atrás. Com um som muito alto de... Bagulho de ferro velho, tá ligado? Panelas velhas, alguma coisa assim. Eu não sei se pegou no, na cutscene aí, porque eu apertei pra mutar o microfone, no caso, né? Espero que não tenha pego. Bom, agora a gente tá aqui no rancho... McFarlane. O rancho da Bonnie, olha só. Começar umas missõezinhas aqui com ela. Meu cavalo já tá ali, ó. O famoso, o lendário cavalo de guerra. O cavalo mais rápido e mais forte do jogo, aquele ali, né? Vamos lá. Vamos falar com a Bonnie. Mr. Marston, back in the land of the living, I see. Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. I sure can use an extra pair of hands around here. Let's see if we can get you back in the saddle. Cara, eu quero ver como é que eu vou ganhar corridas de cavalo nesse jogo, mano. Jogando no mouse e teclado. É meio ruim ficar apertando o shift pra correr toda hora, mano. Depois eu vou trocar todos esses comandos. Vira o F pra subir nas coisas no cavalo. É igual o GTA, né, mano? O F é pra entrar no, nos veículos. Quando estiver cavalgando perto de outra pessoa, segure o Shift L para seguir na mesma velocidade que ela. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. Tá mostrando a região pra gente, né? And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. Belos cavalinhos. That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished, bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better.
That's the barn over there. Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. Eita, eita, eita. Calma aí, pô. Foi lá pro celeiro, perdi a guia do cavalo, mano. Tô vendo o celeiro, muito bonito o celeiro, Bonnie. É, quase me. Na verdade, eu me perdi na curva, né? You get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland. What are you waiting for? Come on, I don't fight. <sighs> How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. Ready, Mr. Marston? Let's mount up and patrol the ranch. Ah, the French man. Qual que é a roda de armas? Ainda não dá para sacar a arma aqui. Ah tá, a roda de armas é o Teb. Outra parada jogar de mouse e teclado, né, mano? É bem gostosinha a precisão. Você vai bugar aí, Mr. Bonnie? Ah, tá. Nossa, tive que vir desbugar ela. Ela ia bugar na missão aí. Já aconteceu isso comigo quando eu joguei a versão de Play 3. Ela bugar naquele canto ali. Eu lembro disso. If it's not the rustlers stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city, become a lady of leisure. Without a coyote, get those pets before they scare the livestock. Hurry, I bet they're going straight for the chicken. O cavalo ficou tudo doido, mano. O barulho dos tiros. You know, you can actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. 
Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. Here we are. Amarrar o cavalo, né? Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarland. Pode dormir na cama do seu quarto para salvar o jogo. Se você dormir, acordará seis horas depois. É padrãozinho, igual do GTA San Andreas, né? Você também pode pegar munição extra no baú do seu quarto. Legal. Legal que o jogo já joga tudo no, no nosso peito, né, mano? Já joga um, um rifle, um cavalo. Um lugar para salvar. E para pegar munições. Legal. Uma missãozinha para fazer com a Bonnie, mas eu acho que a gente tem que dormir no caso aqui. Vamos salvar o jogo. Dava para selecionar a traje ali, mas eu não tenho nenhum ainda. A gente vai fazer as questzinhas para pegar os trajes depois. Ai! Caraca. Se não me engano, aqui embaixo tem um baúzinho, não tem? Deixa eu ver. Tem. Pega o baú. Doze dolinhos, mano. Quero ver como é que eu vou subir agora aqui. Beleza. Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only would I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. Engraçado que a gente encontra praticamente todo mundo que tá naquele, dentro daquele trem, né? Do, do começo. Right, Agora eu quero ver como é que eu vou ganhar dessa mulher no carro, na corrida de cavalo, mano. O jogo tá muito bonito, mano. Eu já tava jogando com ele muito bonito na versão de emulador, mas aqui dá deu uma melhoradinha, mano. E tá a 120 FPS, né, mano? Não tem como achar ruim isso. O segredo 
Pra manter a velocidade do cavalo nesse jogo é o seguinte, ó. Me dá duas cavalgadas, você aperta, clica uma vez no botão de correr, ó. Um, dois, clica. Um, dois, clica, tá ligado? É o segredo pra correr pra caralho com o cavalo aqui, mano. Nossa, eu não... Eu não lembro da versão de, de Switch ter esses javalis ali não, mano. É mais difícil controlar, mano, no mouse teclado, tá? Não é desculpinha nem nada. É ruim, mano, de virar correndo. Come on! Parei que a versão de PC aqui, guys, tá com mais vida no jogo, mais animais aparecendo na tela e tudo mais. Legal isso aí. Até que foi mais fácil do que no emulador pra ganhar a corrida aqui. Legal. Show. That was fun. Sure. You know. You should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. Bom, já dá pra ir direto lá fazer a missão do Marshall, que fica em Armadillo, que foi a cidade onde a gente desceu. Mas, se eu não me engano, a missão com a Bonnie aqui, ela já acaba em Armadillo. Então é mais fácil já fazer essa missãozinha com a Bonnie. Vamos lá. Ah, Mr. Marston, como você está? Bem, Mr. McFarland, como você está? Estou bem. Você gostaria de me riding com me Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <risos> Hop on up, Mr. Marston. Olha de carroça. Eu tô começando a me acostumar com os comandos aqui. Much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't. Ah, porra. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure. O cara ia bater na gente ali, mano. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. Postando um racha. Ah, de novo esse negócio tem que desativar essa porra, velho. Merda. Eu esqueço de desativar isso aí do Windows, mano. Toda vez que eu formato. Well, you must admit, 
It's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Miss McFarland. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking his snake. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Mr. McFarland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. Passagem perigosa. I have a small holding up a great plane. A farmer? Yeah. And I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me? So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? Uncle. Well, he's not my uncle, as far as I know. Just an old dog who's as lazy as a lizard on a hot day. Kind of fella laboring under the delusion that age brings wisdom. Oh, chill. Like the perfect person to leave. <laughs> we go way back. And oh, I didn't God, have okay. a lot of choice. I'd be getting back there if I was you. That's what I'm trying to do, miss. Top. Muito bom. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not, but it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Posso falar com o médico é o R, não o E. Comprar um remédio aqui, vamos comprar. Eu te falei com o Bonnie. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. Hmm. And a little company never hurts now and again. Voltei, voltei a face cam no meio da cutscene. Tô todo atrapalhado hoje. Thank you for the medicine. Mas isso aqui vai ser rapidinho, né? Só se eles se despedindo. You can always take a stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. Tá mais, senhora. I'll be around to save you this time. Hello. <laughs> Vai ter mais missões lá com a Bonnie Mas agora a gente vai com conhecer um famoso delegado da cidade Aqui tá a parada da viagem rápida, né? Eu não tenho dinheiro ainda, né? Quantos dólares eu tenho? Deixa eu ver... Como é que eu pego... É o I? Como é que eu vejo o inventário, mano? Posso ficar sacando arma aqui não, mano. Só dá merda. Queria ver o inventário, mas... Ó. Depois a gente vê. Bora. Vamos conhecer o Marshall. Mano, essa cena é muito boa, cara. Excuse me. Hey. Hey. You got a visitor. Shut up, you! And what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did. Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. 
<laughs> on what? You, you getting cute with me, boy? What's going on here? I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Oh, no. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking whore. <laughs> what are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister, and I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right. Tell you what. Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. Desgraçadozinho, velho. Mano, engraçado que ele pede pro oficial sair de perto, os dois conversarem, mas o detento tá ali escutando tudo e foda-se, tá ligado? Bunch of two-bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walton. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the range these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. I do what I can, Mr. Marston. We ain't the government. Olha o vagabundo ali de cartola. Ah, o H subia. Vem, filhão. Olha como é que vem. I don't want to let that bastard get away. Yeah. Well, as bad as you say he is, why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walton's gang's been growing fast. How long is easy money for easy work? Jola Springs, Gap Tooth Ridge, these boys get around. Walton's the start, but there's plenty more where he came from. Bora, 
Bora da ação, hein, guys. Bora da ação, mano. Hold up, Marston. He must be at the old Pleasant's house. Probably best we take it on foot from here. Looks like we got company, boys. Damn. Take cover. We'll work our way up this hill. Ah, o que que pega cover? Ali já foi, né? Nossa, muito melhor, hein, mano? Excuse me, mister. Licença aí, rapaz, que eu vou pegar um dinheirinho, né? Que eu quero comprar uma propriedade ali, um quarto. Opa. Nossa, acertei o cavalo, coitado. Nossa, botei fogo dentro da casa, mano. Se ele não sair, ele, ele morre. Toma na nuca aí. Pô, bem divertido, hein? Not a bad shot, Mr. Marston. Don't you check in with me next time you're in town. I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. Yeah. Que da hora, mano. Pam, pam, pam. Tem alguma coisa que eu possa pegar aqui? Me deu uns dolinhos aí, vai pra mim chegar com umas 50 dólares. Eu acho que é 50 dólares o quarto ali. Uh, 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 uh. Podemos. Nossa, aqui tomou um tirambaço. Os caras trocando uns tiros lá. Bom, ali no marcha a gente consegue pegar algumas... Como que eu posso dizer? Alguns serviços de... Caçada, né? Pra bandidos. Porém, eu não vou fazer ainda porque a gente vai precisar ter uma corda pra amarrar os caras vivos pra ter uma recompensa maior no caso, né? E a gente consegue essa corda fazendo as missões da Bonnie. Certo? Então, vou chegar ali rapidão. Comprar a casa. Casa não, comprar o um quarto ali no, no boteco, no bordel, sei lá que porra é aquela. Aquele bar. A bala ele corre mais rápido aqui nas ruas, né? No meio do mato ali na vegetação ele, ele é bem mais lento. Joguinho, joguinho com essa fluidez toda é muito gostosinho de jogar, cara. Meu Deus. Bora comprar. A muniçãozinha aqui. Salvar o jogo. E é aqui que eu me despeço de vocês, rapaziada, nesse início de gameplay aqui de Red Dead Redemption. Agradeço demais a presença de todos.
Não se esqueça aí de deixar o like, se inscrever no canal, ativar o sininho para não perder os próximos. E caso vocês queiram contribuir com o valor financeiramente aí no canal, o QR Code está aparecendo na tela aí, tem no, o link na descrição do vídeo aí também. Ui! Quebrei as paletas. Beleza? Então é isso, guys. Tchau. Até o próximo vídeo.